Down here, Merc. You're up. Unbelievable. You soldier guys sure are something. Hard to believe we got a guy like you in a group like Avalanche. So, what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? Thought they were the enemy. He isn't soldier anymore, Jesse. Besides, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. What was your name again? Cloud Strife. Cloud Strife, eh? I'm... Not interested. Once this job's over, I'm out of here. What did I just say? Told you to never move as a group! Our target's Marco Reactor 1. We'll rendezvous at the bridge in front of it. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gear. Run by holding cancel while using the direction buttons. I'm staying here to secure the escape route. Jeez. 
We're really gonna blow this huge reactor? It'll be awesome. That's for sure. So, soldier boy, this your first time in a reactor? Did you forget? I did work for Shinra, remember? Oh, I remember. I know full well that you've been Shinra's lapdog. Bet you guys just eat up everything they tell you, huh? Like what Marco is. Well, let me tell you what they won't. Marco's not just some energy source. It's the lifeblood of the planet. And Shinra's using all this crap to suck it dry. You're not paying me to listen, so save it. You right. Looks like we gotta keep Lapdog on a tight leash. It was hard to get hold of the lock codes, but Biggs and I worked some magic. Just think how many sacrificed themselves for these codes. that button for me, will ya? This reactor's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. And one day, it'll all be gone. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Can you really live with that? I can and I will. I'd worry less about the planet, and more about what's waiting for us down there. me too much, okay? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Go on already. coming.
come what may. This place, there ain't gonna be nothing left but a pile of rubble. Alright, lapdog. Why don't you set up the bomb? Shouldn't you do this? I'll watch the rear. As far as I'm concerned, you're the one that needs watching. So go on. Do the honors. <sighs> Fine. Hey guys, this is just for the office. I said, what is it? Something wrong? <laughs> I'm fine. What in the hell? You better not have double crossed us! Don't attack when its tail is up. It will counterattack with its laser. Oh, it's not over yet. Still in it.
right? My legs uh, stuck. Help a girl out, would ya? Whew! My hero. boys. That should keep the planet going. At least a little longer. Yeah! The planet's what matters. This had to have helped! Can't wait to see Marlene. And she's good to go. Now stand clear. Fire in the hole! Let's get our asses home! We'll rendezvous on the train. Split up and make your way to Sector 8 station. Hey, wait! If it's about your money, you can have it. Once we're back at base. Excuse me, has something happened? Don't worry about it. It's dangerous. You should leave. Don't worry about it. Hey. Hmm. No, never mind. Flowers, huh? Oh, these? You like them? They're only a gill each. I'm good. Sure, why not? Oh, thank you, kind sir. Here, this is for you.
What the hell just happened? What's that on the wall? Let's see. Don't be fooled by Shinra. Mako the energy lasts forever. forever. Mako is the life of the planet. And someday, it'll all come to an end. Saviors of the, of the planet. planet. Avalanche. Avalanche. Shinra military police, eh? They're not worth it. Take them out. They're not worth it. Take them out. I'm not interested. Calling lightning! There he is! <laughs> They're not worth it. Take them out. Don't get in my way, or else. Look up. <laughs> That's as far as you go. Sorry, but I don't have time to mess around with you guys. That's enough of your lip. Seize him! Guess Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine, right? Guys from Soldier, right? Besides, he wouldn't let anything get in the way of his goddamn cash. It'd be good to have him. What do you think, boss? With that guy? The hell would I know? I ain't no mind reader. It's because of you screw-ups that I had to hire that jackass in the first place. Oh yeah, Barrett! About our pay! I mean... Boy! I'm so glad we helped the planet! <sighs> Cloud! Cloud! Late for our appointment? 
you damn right too late. Come waltzing in here, making a big scene. He's giving public security the runaround. Getting everyone worried is more like it. You don't care about no one but yourself. Oh? You were worried about me. What? Oh, hell no. That's coming out of your shit, hot shot. Yo, people, come on. Let's move up. Hey, Cloud. Thanks. <laughs> Cloud, let's keep this up for the next mission. Careful. I'll set this. Oh, Cloud! Your face! It's pitch black. There you go. Good as new. Hey, thanks for saving me back there at the reactor. This is why I hate the last train. Oh boy. Hmm. The only people who come to my home are you guys. You see the headline in the Shinra Times? Apparently the terrorists that bombed me after one are hiding out somewhere in the slums. Imagine bombing a reactor. They must have a really calculating leader. I wonder where they strike next. You're not a damn kid. Sit down. Looks like the train still isn't switched over to the emergency security system. It'll be a different story tomorrow. Please, you'll bother the other passengers. I'm gonna be famous thanks to Avalanche! Hey, Cloud, don't you think I've got a bright future ahead of me? Don't hold your breath. In what way? All my life, I've been nothing but a sidekick. By joining Avalanche and saving the planet, even a guy like me can make a difference! Hey, Cloud, wanna look at this with me? It's a display of the train route. Personally, I find the visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. Just so you know, I'm into this kind of thing. Bombs, monitors... I'm a high-tech kind of girl. <laughs> okay, it's about to start. So here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar. It's around 1 to 10,000 scale. Complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. A huge pillar supports the plate in the center, and there are smaller ones for each sector. The smaller pillars are known as mechanical towers. Psst! We destroyed Reactor 1 on the northern edge. They're numbered in order. 2, 3, up to Reactor 8. Which all sustain the whole system and provide electricity to Midgar. Each sector had a name once, but no one remembers them. Today we just use numbers. That's the kind of place this is. Phew! Next we have this. Take a look! This is the route our train's on. The track spirals around the central pillar. Right now, we're about halfway. Each transit point has an ID check area. It scans information from all of the passengers, then cross-checks the data with the host computer at the Shinra building. Psst! We definitely look suspicious, so we're using fake IDs. Speak of the devil. Those red flashes mean we're passing through the ID checkpoint. Psst. 
Because the lights go out, these trains are full of pervs who can't keep their hands to themselves. Well, enough about that. We're almost home now. What a relief. I know. I'll make you a special ID card for the next mission. Looking forward to it. I'm not interested. Looking forward to it. All right. I'll give it everything I've got. Something with a little more pizzazz. Ah, my eyes! Oh, I'm seeing stars! This sucks. I hate the dark. Barrett, <sighs> quit being so bossy. Take a good look. You can see the surface. But this city looks up at an empty plate. Nothing but a metal sky and ground that don't grow anything. The city that floats in the sky. Pretty unsettling scenery. Oh, never expect to hear that out of you. You're just full of surprises. The world above. A city on a plate. It's because of that great pizza in the sky that people down here gotta struggle to survive. Marco pollution rains down on them. The air is filthy because it ain't got nowhere to go. And nothing's being done to clean it anymore either. On top of that, the Marco reactors keep pumping out energy. Thanks to them, the land's gone completely barren. Then why doesn't everyone just move up above? I don't know. Probably can't afford to. Or maybe. Because they don't want to live on a plate. They prefer the land under their feet. No matter how poisoned it is. Yeah, I understand. No one lives in the slums because they enjoy it there. They're like this train. It can only run where the tracks have been laid. Over here! All of you! When you've been a train attendant as long as I have, you've seen a lot of people, and... A lot of situations. People meeting, parting, joy, sadness. After a while, it doesn't even get to you anymore. That mission was a success, but don't get careless. The big one's still to come. No getting cold feet. Cause the next one's really gonna wake them up. Meet back at the hideout. Move out! I'm not letting you go home tonight. Oh. How about we take it easy somewhere? Oh, but there's only the train graveyard around here. And they say it's haunted. Damn. What? What the hell are you looking at? You got any idea who I am? Up ahead is off limits. I have the miserable job of chasing off bums like you, so get lost. Wow, you're great. Damn straight. 
Just get to the point. But... I... Hey! What the hell are you doing? What out? Jeez. Oh, you came to see it too? I hear there was a terrorist attack above. Makes you think. If this tower ever came down, the slums would be dust. Well, no use worrying about it, is there? Check it out! It's awesome no matter how many times you look up. Pretty neat here, huh? This is my special place, but feel free to drop by from time to time. Well, take care, bro. Yo, Cloud, over here! heard what's happened, right? No, what? Really? It's been all over the news. There's been a terrorist attack up above and guess what? The target was a Marco reactor. You know what this means? No, what? You see, I keep on top of things like this and it stands to reason. When the power's knocked out, computers, traffic lights and so on are going to be knocked out as well. There must have been about, hmm, easily a billion gil worth of damage. And that ain't all. I reckon a lot of innocent bystanders lost their lives. If the explosion had been in the middle of the night, well, at least they would have gone in their sleep. Oh, come on. What the hell's going on tonight? It's been weird ever since that long blackout earlier. Word is it was caused by some terrorists bombing a reactor up above. I was having a quiet beer and watching the news. Next thing I know I'm getting thrown out. It really pissed me off. Uh, it, it, oof, wow, uh, I, I'm blitzed. Just can't get enough of those homemade cocktails. <laughs> but they sure do creep up on you. We're closed for today. Please, stop by again tomorrow. Damn, man! Your face looks like a chuckaboo's ass! You tired pups, you can rest up on the third floor if you like. It's just one condition, cough up some dope. Tenge, don't give him a thing. Ten gil, one gil, ten gil, don't give him a thing. Wow, what a cheapskate. Hey, who the hell are you? Oh, you wanna talk? A newbie. I used to be in Soldier. Yeah, what of it? So what? Everyone's gotta start somewhere. Well, you sure like to act big. Tell you what. Seeing I'm such a warm-hearted guy, I'll show you the ropes. Come back this way tomorrow. If you're in a better mood, I gotta set some stuff up first. Mm. Hey, you! Yeah, let's see you walk out of here without buying something. That'd be unfortunate. If you catch my drift. Oh, 
right, go on. 